This is a quick hitting play called 55. It is a play that can be run against man-to-man -man sets. Notice that the point guard takes the ball directly out top. Both the 4 and the 5 are now outside the 3 point line. So this is a, a, um, a play in which you can hopefully get the other team's defensive bigs away from the basket. It's also a good play to run if there's a mismatch for the 2 or the 3 guard. As they're right now posted up toward the short corner, they can look to take advantage of a smaller defensive check inside. So the play starts off with the one selecting a side to pass to. In this case here, he passes to the five man. Um, that's significant because if you pass to the five, there could be an opportunity for the three to duck in the post right away if that's the mismatch. We also know that by passing the ball to the five, that means that the five man is going to end up with what we call um, a shuffle cut right down here into the post for a mismatch. So once one passes the ball to five, one will now screen away for the other big uh, who will set his man up. Uh, once four is at the top, hopefully we can get open through that. Five is going to reverse the ball. Notice that one has popped out, and we're going to quickly reverse the ball back to the one. Okay, if I just rewind here, before the ball is passed to one, this is going to be this cross screen from two right here. So as the ball is in the flight of its path to one, two begins its cut. He's going to headhunt the man from number five. Right here, five cuts off high and is looking for the ball right here. That pass needs to be made from one to five right when he's shoulder to shoulder with the two man. Now, upon passing the ball to number one, we're going to set a doubled staggered screen for the shooter three right here. So the two and the four are set up. The three is going to set their man up, come off the screen. Here's our pass. If there's no shot here, we go into the final stage of the play. One has just reversed the ball. One is now going to go off a triple screen along the baseline set by five, two, and by four. And hopefully we'll get something off of that. It, it's a long developing play with lots of options. If we rewind to the start, now we want to end it to the other side. Let's say that two's got a mismatch. Two's be, you know, we, we've got a bigger two in the post we can take advantage of. And uh, maybe four also has a mismatch. Four, if we enter here, four is going to end up with that cut, that shuffle cut down to the middle. So we pass the basketball to four. One's going to screen away for five. Five is setting his man up. Coming to get the ball, we reverse it. Now, as five is reversing that to one, this is when three is going to headhunt and set that screen for four. Ball's in the air. Three is going four, setting his man up. Now, in this case, four, you're in the post, we can step off to the short corner. And the reason why we do that now, once the ball's here, we're going to set that doubled staggered screen for two. By four stepping off, if that defender is trailing two, we can actually do a curl cut and get something into the basket here. Two will set his man up. There's the curl cut. Now, again, if we don't curl, let's just rewind. Ball's back with uh, the point guard. Let's say that we straight cut this out right here. Reverse the ball. And now we're going to set our triple screen for the one along the baseline. Okay, so another good play there, guys, that we can run when there's mismatches, trying to get the bigs away from the basket and uh, take advantage of our quickness on the perimeter.